Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another makeup cleanup video. Today I'm going through my eyeshadow collection. I've gone ahead and pulled everything together, so let's get started. So I have 21 eyeshadow products in total, some quads, some singles, some palettes, but I'm going to start by taking the couple of things I know I'm definitely going to keep. So the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows in Amber Rush and Bronze Taupe, I'm definitely going to keep these because I really like them. I do get a lot of use out of the Bronze Taupe. Next, the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. This is the first one, and I'm going to keep this as well because I do get use out of this. I know there's now another one, but I've told myself I don't need to buy that one. This is from Be A Bombshell. It's a quad in the shade or collection Bora Bora. I actually haven't used this, so I'm going to hold on to it, try it out, and then if I don't like it, I will get rid of it. But for now, I'm going to keep it because I can't really make a decision on it without trying it. This is a MAC eyeshadow quad in Pink Freeze, and I've only used this a couple of times, but I do like the eyeshadows, so I am going to hold on to this. This is a palette from Catrice Cosmetics. I picked this up in Portugal last year, and it's a great nude palette. I really like the color, so I'm going to hold on to this one. I've been using it a little bit more lately, and I've been enjoying it, so I'm keeping that one. What else am I going to keep? I know I'm not keeping this. This is from Annabelle Cosmetics and it's a cream eyeshadow quad in Miss Denim, I think it is. Yeah, so it's just some blue shades that I bought a couple of years ago for a look that I was doing. It was a party look, um, but I haven't used it since. So I'm going to let go, especially because it's a cream product and it's been a few years. I don't think it's good anymore and I'm not going to give it to anyone. I'm just gonna toss this one. I'm definitely keeping the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. It's a great palette. I really do like it, so I'm keeping this. This is a duo from Pacifica, and I actually haven't used it yet. I've only swatched it. It came in an Ipsy bag earlier this year, so I'm going to hold on to it so I can try it out and make a decision on it. Then I have this Clinique duo. I think this is in Strawberry Fudge. Yeah, Strawberry Fudge. I got this in a top box last year, which is the Canadian version of the Ipsy bag. I do like it, I have used it, so I'm keeping this for sure. This is a cream eyeshadow, or I think it's supposed to be an eyeshadow base, and I think it's from Itini. I'll have to check and add a comment, but this came in an Ipsy bag, and it's just not the right shade for me. It's a shimmery purple, and cream eyeshadows for me as well because I have super oily lids just tend to crease faster. So I'm not keeping this. I'm also not keeping this NYC yellow and orange eyeshadow. I didn't buy this to use as eyeshadow. I wanted, I needed some orange powder because I was trying to take a concealer and make it a little bit more orange tone. So I had read that if you add some orange powder to it, it'll obviously change the color. So this was never for eyeshadow use. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. This is a trio from BH Cosmetics. It came in an Ipsy bag. And I do like the quality of the shadows, but I'm just not gonna get any use out of the purple shadow. And the other two, I feel I have some similar colors, so I'm going to let this one go. I think I can find a better home for it. This duo from Estee Lauder, I've actually used quite a bit. I've hit pan on that one. The duo is called Tea Biscuit. I actually really like the quality and the colors of these eyeshadows. So I'm gonna hold on to this. My Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Trio I'm holding on to because it's an excellent eyeshadow. The colors, the quality, everything about it is great. The price, so definitely keeping that. This Sonia Kashuk palette in, what color is this? Fair and Square. I'm gonna keep this because it's new to me. I've only used it a couple of times. I do like it. I do need to get more use out of, the, out of it though, so I'm going to keep that. So we've got this loose shadow from, I don't know if it's Mika Beauty or Mika Beauty, came in an Ipsy bag, and it's loose, so I don't tend to use loose shadows, so I'm going to pass this one along. It's a nice color, sort of a pinkish rose gold color, so I'm going to find this one a better home as well. So just a few more to go. This is a single from Quo in the shade Angelic. I've hit pan on this. I do really like it, so I'm going to keep that. This NYC single. I've had this for years. I even forgot I had this because it was in the back of my drawer. It's in the shade Wait Until Dark and I've used this quite a bit um, to do sort of my interpretation of a smoky eye. So I'm going to hold on to this and I need to use this again. This is from Elizabeth Mott, Pop Goes the Shadow in the shade Champagne. This came in an Ipsy bag. 
and I really like it. It's a great just one shadow, just kind of wash over the lids color. So I'm going to keep that. Last is an eye dust from Annabelle. It's in the shade Prism and it's just a loose powder and it's very shimmery. I'm trying to get some on my hand, um, but it's very shimmery and it has a little bit of a pink tone and depending on the light, it can change. Um, but this is great for the inner corner. I haven't used it in years because again, I forgot about it. It was in the back of the drawer. So I'm gonna hold on to this one for now, even though normally I don't like loose eyeshadows, I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so I am down to 16 eyeshadow products that I'm keeping and five that I'm letting go of. I am going to try out these two again, see how I feel about them. So I might be down to 14, just depending how that goes. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.